All right, welcome to the examples video for your math lesson, Friday, March 27th. We're still talking about unit price. So let's do a couple of examples from page 17. Your must on page 17 is one to six. We're gonna answer question one and question six. Let's make sure we know how to do this. So it's asking you to find the unit price of the potatoes. You get 10 kilograms of those potatoes for $3.99 but how much would you pay for only one kilogram? So what you'll need to do is divide. You take your 10 and you divide it into 399. Now, remember powers of 10. There's going to be an on number of times in your questions today that you're gonna be dividing by 10 or 100. And so remember, when you're dividing by 10, you're just moving the decimal one spot. So when I'm dividing by 10, I'm making it smaller because I'm dividing. So I moved my decimal one spot over. So I've got 0 0.3. Now take a look at the instructions. Round to the nearest cent. So I've got 0 0.399. And so if I put 0 0.399, that's not to the nearest cent. The nearest cent is the second one after the decimal, right? That's as much sense as you can go. You, you'll never see in the grocery store something for, you know, 399. Maybe we just call it 399. So, what you're gonna need to do is round. Remember the rounding rule. Your rounding rule is always five or higher, round up. So, 399, no, no, I need it to be either, right now it's 39 cents, but if I use the nine to round, the nine is big enough to change the nine into a 10, which then changes the three into a four. So what you end up with, because you're rounding, is you end up with 40 cents per kilogram. So that's how you're going to be working today. It's a lot of moving parts in the math today, but that's okay. Just take it step by step. What you do, do first, you're going to divide first. You're always going to divide first. You're going to take however much units you have and divide it into your cost. Once you've done that, you've got your answer, then do the rounding. Just don't forget to follow the instructions because it does ask you on a number of your pages to do some rounding. Not all the time, so make sure you read the instructions. All right, let's talk about, oh, also, don't do number four. Scratch that out. Don't worry about doing number four, unless you use a calculator. If you use a calculator, you can do it. All right, let's talk about number six. Number six, I've got five grapefruit. Those five grapefruit cost $1.99. So, if you're going to do an outside calculation, make sure you give yourself some room. So you take your five, you divide it into $1.99. Now, can five go into one? No. So you've got a zero and a decimal. Can five go into 19? Absolutely. Five can go into 19 if you look down your fives till you get to the closest thing to 19 without going over. So five goes into 19 three times. Five times three is 15. Four left over. Drop your nine. So five into 49, you look down your fives again until the closest thing to 49 without going over, which is uh, no, nine, straight, nine, which is 45, and again, you've got four left over, drop your zero, five into z into 40 goes eight, so there's your 40, you're all good, done. Now remember, rounding, again, with the rounding, so you're looking and you've got 0 0.39 cents and then it keeps going with an 8. 
So just like we did up on number one, you're gonna round, you're gonna take that eight, which changes the nine into a zero, which then changes the three into a four. So it's actually 40 cents again per grapefruit. So they're not all gonna be rounding like this, but whenever you need to round, please remember that you look at the, at the number next to the second one after the decimal. That's the eight. The eight is big enough to change that nine into a 10. You can't fit 10 in one slot, so it turns to a zero and the one skips over here and changes that into a four because three plus one is four. All right, so don't forget rounding. Rounding is important. Um, all right, I'm gonna check the time, see how much we got left on the video. Okay, we've got four minutes. It should be enough to do number seven. If you take a look at number seven, it asks you what, which one is the better deal. And a lot of the reason why we do unit price is to figure out which one is really cheaper, which is the better deal. And so, if you take a look for number seven, it says three cans of soup for a dollar or one can for 35 cents. Which one is actually cheaper for one can? So they've already done one of the unit prices for you. And they've told you that one can is 35 cents. So what you need to do is you need to figure out the unit price for the three cans for a dollar. So. And then it says one can for 35 cents. So we already know, there you go, there's your unit price on the second one. And in fact, when you're writing a unit price, it's always good to just write it as a unit price. 35 cents per can. So the first one, you still have to figure out what the unit price is. Now, like I said before, you can use a um, calculator if you want to for some of these because sometimes you're gonna be dealing with larger numbers and don't get lost in the division. The important part is finding the unit price. So if you're gonna use a calculator, you take your three cans and you divide it into one dollar. Divided by three cans equals, oh, we've got a repeating decimal, that's fine. And if you take a look, it's not asking us to round number seven, eight, nine, and 10. You don't have to round them. So when you've got, if you're using a calculator, you're just taking the first two digits after the decimal, 33 cents. So you ignore all the rest of it, which means this one is 33 cents per And so you look and you think, okay, which one's the better deal? Which one's cheaper? Is it 35 cents per can or 33 cents per can? This is cheaper, it's the better deal. Oh, spell that right. So when you're doing these questions, you're gonna answer, oh my goodness, can you please spell? You're gonna answer them this way, better deal. 33 cents per can is cheaper than 35 cents per can. If you have any questions, get in touch. I will help you. I will walk you through any one of these questions. I know that it's a little bit more complex than what we're used to dealing with, but it is important that you know how to do this. And I do expect you to do your best.